Have a look at this elemental form we got on the screen. I've got two email fields. Imagine you've got a form where you want them to verify the email and it's not until they're verified will the email actually allow you to send or submit. And before I've even hit the send or submit button, it's instantly telling me that the emails must match. And if I try and hit send or submit, it ain't gonna go. It doesn't matter whether I fill in the other fields or not. It will not allow me to send. Now let me go and show you what it would look like if I got rid of these extra ones. Look at that instantly. This is all being done in real time, okay? So I do that and now it says email entered successfully. You can change the notifications and the color as well. I'm gonna show you that in the really simple code. And regardless of whether I've entered in the name field because it's not a required field, I hit send and now it will actually send. There are a few things you gotta make sure you do. So the first one is I've got my email fields. This will be probably a standard one you probably would have got anyway with the form. When we go to the advanced tab, this will always default to email as the ID. So make sure you make a note of your IDs. I then have another email field. This is called confirm email. And if I go to the advanced tab, I've called this email underscore check. Then I've got a third field. Now this is actually not visible because it's going to be the one that kind of enables the message to be visible when you've entered in your email address. This is a HTML field. You can see it there and that's it. There's nothing entered into there. There is no advanced tab for the ID. It is just a HTML field. Just drop it in and leave it completely empty. And then I've got an added in a name field as well, just to show you how this could work. The magic is in the HTML widget that I've dropped below the form. And if I expand on that, you're gonna see it here. And what you wanna take note of is the IDs for your field. So we've got the form field email, and then we have the form field hyphen email underscore check. So if you've gone and called your second field email verify or verification field or whatever, make sure you pop the right ID in. And then down here is where we have the color. So if you want to go and pop a hex color in, you can do. And the message email entered successfully and it is green. And if it does not match, it, the color is going to be red and it says emails must match or whatever you want to pop in there. That code is in the video description. So if you've been using Elemental Forms and you wanted to have a verification field because maybe you don't want them to accidentally put in the wrong email, especially if it's a lead or a potential customer and you want to be double sure that this is the person that you're contacting back and you don't lose them, this is simple and easy to do. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll keep seeing you. Never break, always fight, never quit. We're right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings.